Wordfire here with episode 12 of Desperate Housewives the game. And we are in the middle of the fashion show. What private school does Lynette want to send the terrible twins to? I have no idea. Poor school though. But I have no idea. Let's see what the answer is. Barcliff Academy. <laughs> no idea. All right, we're in the middle of the fashion show. Whoa. Hello. Why do I don't? <laughs> what? Why do I? Why don't I have the special dress on? What? Freaky. All right, Eric Larson. Hi, can I help you with something? I just wanted to give you some information. That guy that just left here, he's bad news. Are you call me? Uh, that's a pretty vague remark. Ever the detail-oriented one, I see. You're saying if you want me to believe you, you're going to get, have to give me a better reason. If there's anyone I should be special of is you. Well, you're the one that came here bent on making up my mind for me. Well, your mind is already made up. I'm just here to remind you of what you already know. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Yeah, right. So listen, she's gonna start too. Maybe you should take your seat. I'll do that. But remember what I've told you. Sure, whatever you say. Also, let me keep it in mind. Oh, I'll remember all right. You'd better. It's for your own good. Hey, where's my special, special dress? Where's my special dress? Listen up, people. Five minutes to curtain. I know we went through a lot to get here, but I really want to say thank you to all of you for taking part in the show. So now, without further ado, let's get out there and give them a show they'll never forget. Yay! Oh, yeah. Everyone craves sure. a little attention now and then. <laughs> Sometimes this attention merely reinforces how we feel about ourselves. Other times it can lead to anger and resentment. <laughs> but one should be careful with the amount of attention you seek since you never know exactly who has their eye on you. Mhm. Mm Internet where does Gabrielle do her laundry when she's too poor to pay her plumbing bill? What kind of question was that? Oh, oh, plumbing bill. Oh, mm -hmm. The jacuzzi. Yeah, sounds like Gabrielle. From the day we are born, all of us want to be appreciated. And while some can't get enough attention, others can get by with just the occasional bit of it now and then. Aww. Sometimes, when it comes to being appreciated, the most important question is not whether we are getting attention, but who in particular is giving it. <laughs> totally true. Good morning, neighbor. How are you today? Uh, hello, hello. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you would be a dear and let me show Mr. Corsetti around your home. Why? Of course, you need Mr. Corsetti. Come on in. Why would you ask me to show random stranger dude my home? Privacy invasion, anyone? Great. Vincent is interested in buying a house in the neighborhood. Your house was built by the same builder who's doing the new estate homes over by Vineyard Hills. 
All right, I'll just take the tour with you. As you can see, the entryway is open here, and the stairway is made of turned pine. The new estate homes are similar, but the materials are of superior quality, and the space will be much larger. I like the way this looks. When did you purchase your home? Uh, thanks, you official to where I have housework. A few months ago, my husband started a private practice here. I have housework to do. Okay, people, on with the tour. Notice the narrow crown moldings and the carved baseboards, one of this builder's specialties. Very nice. I love what you've done with the furnishings as well. Very refined taste. <laughs> Just my style. Why are you talking to me all the time? And every room has dimmer switches installed for all built-in lights. Let's move on, shall we? Hope the kitchen is clean. Unlike this kitchen, all of the new kitchens will have eight outlets, each on a separate breaker box, so there'll be plenty of juice flowing for any appliance you may have. I do enjoy cooking up a fancy meal from time to time. I make my pasta from scratch, though. I don't use those new pasta machines you see on TV. Mmm, that sounds delicious. I would love to taste your homemade pasta someday. Bring some red wine. I don't have the time to make noodles by hand, but I will make the sauce from scratch. Okay, let's go. On with the tour, Vincent. Follow me. All the windows are double glazed and provide a major savings on heating and cooling. The new development gives the option of adding tinting to them at a nominal charge. Of course, using quality window treatments would make the windows in here look a lot better, but you get the idea. I'm not a big fan of covering up my windows. I like to let the light flow in and warm the room. Well, okay. I'm just saying the new estate homes have materials that are cut above what you see here, but you can see the quality workmanship. Those new homes are probably a lot more expensive than the ones in Mr. Lane. Well, those new state homes sound like they are going to be really nice. I love this house, though. It was just right for my family. Well, Vincent, that's pretty much all I have to show you here. Let's get going. We have a lunch reservation soon, and I thought we could have some drinks at my place and go over some of the floor plans for the new homes. Aren't we going to check out the upstairs? I'm interested to see the size of the master bedroom. I'm sorry, Vincent. We need to get going now. Uh, that's my privacy. Indeed. It was very nice to meet you. Here's my phone number. I hope to see you again soon. Why would I want your phone number? I'm sure pretty. I'm sure Edie will set you up with what you need. Bye. Why do what I need your phone number, crazy guy, man, whatever? Get your mail! No, I don't wanna! I wanna cook first! Cooking! Swedish meatballs! Without anything to them, just meatballs, apparently. Because that's how we eat them in Sweden. Not. But sure. What kind of freaking recipe is this? Why are you cooking the meatballs? <laughs> That's the <a> meatballs! <laughs> That's not meatballs. It's cooked meatballs. We have another word for them in Swedish. But... Oh, it was pasta to it. Yeah, I thought so. Whoa, time is almost up. Yes, 
Thank you. Yes. E minus and chopping, but still. Oh. Okay, our husband is not here. Let's do the last recipe for Master Chef. Charleston casserole. Hello. Do it! Crazy housewife. Do as I tell you. Oh, damn it! Create oven. Oh, I missed that. Damn it! I thought it was going so well. Oh, no. Please tell me I'll be able to finish in time. Yeah, I think so. It's cool. I was like, no! <laughs> yes. Need some dishes. And now we can cook and color artist. Country skillet steaks, lemon white fish, chicken parmigiana, three cheese fondue, and lemon meringue pie. And we have this special <gasps> dessert crap. I want to do the dessert crap. Perfect! Oh yeah! Awesome, clean that. Okay, let's go and actually get our mail now. Daryl, alright. Lock it in the mailbox. Go ask Gabrielle about hey, the lock. Hey, are you busy? Whoa. Uh, no. What's up? My couple of things. First, I wanted to let you know that the poker game for tonight is on. 7 p.m. at Bree's house. You have to come. Okay, good. Some extra spending money. Uh, what else? Oh, how poor Lynette. Her brood all came down with some stomach virus. All the kids, and Tom is laid up too. I was thinking of going over there to see if there was anything I could do to help her out. Uh, oh, that poor woman sounds dreadful. I should go over and see her as well. I'll head over there after I talk with Gabby. That's a good idea. I'll head over there after I talk with Gabrielle. I'm sure she'll appreciate any help she can get. What are you going over to Gabrielle's house for? Go straight to item in the mail. I want to ask her about it. It's a locket and Chanel's jewelry, so... A locket? Who sent you a locket in the mail? Some secret admirer? I'm not really sure. It's kind of old and worn looking, and there's something else picture inside. I think it might be an antique, though, and it's probably sterling silver. Well, Gabrielle will be able to tell you. I'll see you both at poker night. Seven o'clock. Oh, wait! I almost forgot the main reason I called you. Oh, really? What was that? I'm sorry. Here's the deal. Julie has this project due in her computer lab at school, and she seems to be having some trouble with it. I can help how? Oh, well, I was talking to her, and she mentioned that your son is like <sighs> the star pupil in that class. 
So I was wondering if he could help her with her project. She's under a lot of pressure to get straight A's this year. And I was hoping maybe your son could help her study. I'll mention to him when I see him. I'm sure he'll be happy to spend some time. Well, I'll ask him, but I can't make any promises. My son pretty much does what he wants to do when it comes to friendships. I hope he'll be interested. I think he enjoys it when they're a nice couple, and I know he can help her with anything through the kids eat and sleeps at his computer desk, it seems. I'll ask him, but I can't make any promises. Well, I appreciate it. Just tell him to call Julie and I'll make some pizza or something for them while they work on her project. Thanks for chatting. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Here's the mailman again. All right. Uh, Gabby. Gabby, Gabrielle, knock on the door. Come on, answer it. Purple Gabrielle. Hello. Oh, hi. What brings you over here this morning? Uh, I need to ask you some advice. Oh? Well, come in and I'll see what I can do for you. What's the problem? Uh, I just went in. <laughs> There's nothing wrong, but I opened my mailbox today and this was inside. Ooh, it's kind of cute. It looks like sterling silver. It doesn't really look like an antique to me, though. By the way, the kids in the picture are dressed. It looks like it may only be about 25 years old. Nice hairdo. No idea who gave it to you, huh? Well, it's not worth very much as a jewelry item, but the picture's kind of funny. Reminds me of a locket my boyfriend gave me in high school. Well, I guess someone wanted me to have it. It's a mystery. It'll be fun to sol solve. Very puzzling, though. I looked at uh, my name on it, so it wasn't mistakenly left there. Darn, I was kind of hoping it was a valuable antique. I have to real useful lock like this well it's a mystery you know call me crazy but the more I look at that teenage girl in that picture the more it looks like you I mean it may be a stretch but under all that blue eyeshadow <laughs> and those terrible bangs <laughs> it kind of looks like a really young version no way I wouldn't notice that myself let me take another look really that's silly let me see that again well I I'm just saying it sort of looks like how I imagined you may have looked I'm sure you never owned an outfit that ugly before, but the guy in the football uniform is kind of cute. He's a high school kid. He's no older than my son. He does look oddly familiar, though. I can't figure that. It's crazy. Wow, this is a pretty crazy resemblance now that you mention it. It almost looks familiar to me, but I guess I'm just from, just from looking at it so much. Oh, speaking of crazy, after the fashion show, I started thinking how I wanted to get back into modeling. But Carlos threw a fit and forbid me. He forbid you? What did you say? He hid my address book, and he put a password on the computer so I couldn't search online. He gets so jealous. I was wondering if you could do some detective work for me, and locate the phone number of a modeling agency. Wow, what a control freak. I call, of course I will. I'll call you later with a phone number. I shouldn't have any trouble finding a modeling agency online. Of course, I have some issues. I'd be more than able to help, happy to help you. It's a great idea, Gabriel. I'll look it up for you, no problem. I'll call you, I'll let you know the number later on. Oh, what a control freak. Oh, thanks a bunch. You're a really good friend. I'll be waiting for your call. Oh, alright. Mall and Jane's tutoring Julie. Help Julie out. Oh. Let's go home then. Quests. Hey, I want to talk to you. Hi, honey. It's me. Oh, not now. Well, I'm heading out to lunch right now. Okay, I'm still planning on making you your favorite lasagna tonight. Yeah. About that. Uh, my secretary, Jackie, got into the medical school program up at State College. Uh, she showed me the acceptance letter this morning. Good for her. Why are you telling me this? Well, I told her I would take her down to Depot Town for lunch at that fancy new Italian place. So, lasagna should probably be made another night, if that's okay with you? Okay, no problem. Take another time. Have a good lunch. 
What? You haven't even taken me there yet. Why not just buy your diamond necklace too? Whatevs. Thanks for understanding. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I have another question for you, uh, got a minute? Make it snappy, Dr. Clueless. Ask you your question. I want to buy Jackie a little gift to congratulate her, and I was thinking a bracelet would be better than a necklace. Don't you think? Necklace implies romantic interest. Thanks, honey. I figured the same thing. I may have to stay late tonight. Don't wait up for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, husband is a jerk. Face. Why are you going that way? Really? Hey, Mom. What do you want? Whatever. I guess it's going fine. Same old thing. Studying, taking a test, rinse and repeat. School's going okay then? Are you still seeing Allison? I don't really want to talk about that stuff with you, Mom. What is it you really want? I can tell there's something. Well, we're chatting with Susan Mayer today. Uh, I guess you have a daughter and you want to read classes, computer lab or something? Do we have his problem in your computer lab class? Oh, dear lord. Do you want me to do Julie's computer lab project with her? Well, Susan told me that you have a reputation as a computer whiz, and she mentioned that Julie is having some trouble with her project. Okay, so you just want me to go help her finish up her project? That's the idea. Uh, it will do you good to get out and help someone else with a problem instead of staring at the computer screen all day long. She just needs some help on it, and I want to help out her mother, so go over there and see what you can do. Gesture towards Susan and Julie. Oh, all right, Mom. I'll go talk to Julie, and I'll see what I can do to help her. It's probably going to be so easy. Thank you. Uh, okay, so modeling chains. He's not getting his ass over there, is he? Not for real, isn't No, 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 I want a computer. Stupid housewife. Browse web. Please. <sighs> Modeling agency. Oh, search. Fashion models. Modeling job. All right. <sighs> okay, let's go back to Gabrielle. Oh wait, should I call her? No, I can't. All right. We're walking over there. And we will take a break after we have done this. Hi there. Did you find out anything about modeling agencies for me yet? Oh, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to contacting a few of these agencies and sending them some new snapshots. It'll be quite a coup to have pictures of me wearing never-before-seen Daniel Fox dresses. That's true, good thinking. You're real, really beautiful in the one to show. I'm sure you could get a job molding again. You are too kind, dear. I do look pretty good for my age. Look out, world. I'm coming back to the fashion pages soon. I wish, well, I wish you well, Gabrielle. I'm sure you'll knock them dead. Yep. And now we're going to Lynette and to Bree. But, we'll do that next time, because this episode is up. We will save. Ta-da! And, yeah, this is for today. So, oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game, and I will see you soon.